In this video, we're going to talk about ranges. Now, this is the prototype that we're working towards. We have a lot of it done, but one part that we don't have done is this part where you slide the slider above the current temperature and you see it change colors. Uh, it also has this um, energy pulsing that uh, indicates that it's heating from that current temperature to 75 degrees. Uh, or whatever temperature that we've set it to. Okay, so in order to do this, we need to use ranges. So let's get started. So if we look at our current prototype that we've been building for the past few videos, we have the slider working just fine. But what we want to happen is for this orange background to turn a reddish color as I drag it above the current temperature. That's going to indicate that the heat is going to turn on because the temperature for the heat is higher than the current temperature. So in order to do that, we need to add a trigger. That's a conditional trigger that's a range. And this range needs to be based off of the Y position of our slider. So let's find our box slider and we want the Y position of that box slider. Now we need to set a value here and this value is going to be the value uh, such that when the slider goes above that value we're going to uh, initiate some animations and some color changes. So in order to do that we need to figure out what is the exact spot that we want it to start those animations. It happens to be right here where it says currently 70 degrees. So what we can do inside of our project is just move our slider up to the point where it, it reaches the 70 degrees. And we can look at the Y position. So that's 345. That means at 345 points from the top of the phone, it is going to uh, start its animation. So let's copy that and let's undo that move that we did. Okay, there we go. Now let's put 345 inside of our range trigger. So let's talk about these icons up here. This icon here is currently saying when 345 is less than or equal to the box slider, use that range to do something. But what I really want in this case is the Y position of the box slider to be less than or equal to 345. Because 345 is right here on our preview, and 0 is up here, and the range for which I want things to happen are between this point and this point. If we had the other option chosen, then it would be a range from 345 and greater relative to the box slider. So we don't really want that. So Make sure that this icon is selected at 345. So that's just our trigger, but we need to perform some action based on that trigger. So what I'm going to do is say color. And I want the color, not of the box slider, but of the slider itself. So let me search for that, slider. And I want it to be a certain color. And in this case, I want it to be this reddish color right here, which is EE6F60. Okay. And I'll leave other, all these other options the same. And when we test it in our preview, we see that as soon as we go over that line, it turns the new color. However, when I drag it below the current temperature, it still maintains that color. So we've essentially changed it permanently. 
So we need to add another range going the opposite direction. Okay, so what I'm going to do is click on this color and copy it. I'm going to add a new trigger and this trigger is going to be the range. Now that range is going to be our based on our box slider and we're going to put 345 in there. Now before we had it the range be from 345 or less. Okay? But in this case what we want to happen is once it passes 345 and goes beyond that, that's when we want our color to change. And so we actually do that by clicking this icon here. So with this icon selected, what we're saying is when the x value of the box slider is greater than or equal to 345, use that as a trigger. Now we don't want the x value because the x value is the side value here. Uh, we, we want the y value okay, to be based off of where this is in relation to the top of the screen. So let's change that to y and let's give it a try. So we move the slider beyond the currently 70 degrees indicator and now when we move it back nothing happens and the reason why that nothing happens is because I haven't actually added our um, rule that should be based off of that trigger so what we're gonna do is just copy this color from range put it back <clears throat> that gives us our slider and the color that we want is the orange that we've used in the before all right, so now when we drag it above, we see that it is red. When we drag it below, it is orange. And that's how you use ranges. And in the next few videos, we'll be adding some polish and some general cleanup for our demo.